Mike Angelino Sports Podcast, MAP. Gia, I got my homeboy, Brandon Lopes, a.k.a. Quest. What's up, dog? What's up, fool? I'm glad oh, to be back man. on, dog. Shit, yeah, hey, I'm hearing good. you making money moves out here, fool. <laughs> nah, nah. You stay. You about to sign the whole uh, podcast squad, dog. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sem- I'm assembling a team and you're in it, dog. I got I got the I sports. See it. I, I got see fitness. It. I see you making the moves, dog. Oh man, come on, dog. I got more moves in. Then the Hoya. Yeah. All right, talking about the Hoya, dog. Let's get straight to the to the so where I wanted to talk to you, to you about. I want your perspective. Okay. And I wanted to, I want you to give it to me raw like sushi. So got it. Yeah. So yeah. So we're talking about sports. We're talking about boxing. Boxing. And then they have exhibitions in boxing. It's a big thing that started off. And there's a little history of, of exhibitions in boxing, but it, 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 it came around when uh, Chavez and Tyson, they're doing exhibitions. And, and now they're De La Hoya's coming in. Uh, uh, Marquez, uh, Barrera, Cotto. So what do you think about exhibitions? And then we'll break <clears throat> down a couple of the fights that, that, that are going to show, because they're good fights. Legendary, the legends are yeah. back. But what do you think about exhibitions? They're killing the sport or eyes on or giving eyes on the sport i think i think they're giving eyes on the sport dog because if you think about it <clears throat> um i mean they're real boxers dog they're yeah. older boxers but these guys are real boxers and these fools have gone to war yeah some of the greatest fights um and if a lot of people right now they're not really into boxing i think by like these dudes doing these little exhibition fights i think they're bringing back the eyes back to boxing dog because they can see the like uh, kind of like the true essence of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. it's bringing back the 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 people that love boxing, dog. You know what I mean? I don't want to say they got nothing to lose, but I mean, like they like they say, it's just an exhibition, just to give the crowd a, you know, a little some some. But I think it's good for I think it's good for boxing, dog. Honestly, do I like it? I like uh uh Cotto fighting against Marquez. I mean, I think that's gonna be a good one. Oh my These God. dudes always stay in shape, dog. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, like, like what's, I mean, I was if, you, now if you're talking about, yep. go ahead, go ahead. yeah, like I was telling you, uh, Marquez and, and Cotto just just retired, so that that fight should have happened when they were freaking uh, still fighting. But that that's that, that's a good exhibition. I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing that. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Exactly. What do you think, though? Uh, now I was just saying, I was gonna say, um, that that one's gonna be good, um. The the tight the Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. I mean, I mean you for sure you can you can see their age when they were boxing, but that shit was still good though. Dude, for it's what sold, it was. You it's know sold, what I mean? Yeah, it sold. It was like the seventh most pay per view sold in boxing history. So that told you something that people are people, the, the yeah, average course, fan. No, yeah, they want to see it. Yeah, yeah, they want to see it, dog. People are thirsty for boxing, dog, because if you if you look at boxing right now. Let's say, let's just say to an average boxing fan, like they don't see big names. Yeah, you, okay. yeah, you see Colt, um, not Colt, I'm sorry, Canelo. Um, if you're like one of these, uh, like uh, Instagram and and Twitter dudes, like you may see like a Ryan Garcia, but that that's that's like a, he's going based off his uh, Instagram following. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah. pretty boy. Though. I mean, he's good. Who you can't deny him that that he's not good, but. Like an average boxer really doesn't like they really don't know of, of, of a lot of these boxers, dog. Benavidez. A lot of people don't know about Benavidez, dog. Yeah. Lopez. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like now, if you're talking to like a a, a a person that really likes boxing that's really into it and following, yeah, they're gonna know those names. But for the average person, nah, dog. The average person knew Mike Tyson back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And still know him today. You know what I mean? Holyfield, uh Cotto. Um, <clears throat> Pacquiao, like people, p- these are like household names, dog. So I, to me, I think those exhibitions are good for are good for the boxing, are good for boxing because it's going to bring back those those eyes, and then they're going to start listening, they're going to start seeing these other young boxers that are really good, that are yeah. really good, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I got you. But um, the thing is that that you, there's some critics that are saying that it's not fair for fighters because Chocolatito versus uh uh el uh, what's that fool's name? Chocolatito <clears throat> versus uh. Uh, Gallito Strada, you seen that fight? Oh, fight right. of the year, fight one of the greatest fights of these. They, they didn't even make a million dollars. They didn't even make a yeah. mil. And and these guys, Ben Askren versus uh, 
Paul, Jake Paul and the Jake Paul, the other Paul brother versus Mo versus Mayweather. They're making millions, dude. It, it's like, so it's like it's, they're saying that they're taking the money and putting it, they're taking the boxing's money and it's not fair. Um, what do you think but about see that? that? But that, that's, but that's different though, compared to like, let's say Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. These are, you got, these guys are real boxers. Yeah. On the other hand, Ben Askren, he's, he's a UFC fighter and he's uh, an all world champion, but he's not a boxer. Um, the dude, uh, I don't know, Paul, whatever, like he's not a boxer dog. He's only, he's only started boxing like a year. Yeah. Right or something like that. Yeah, like two years. I think he's a, he was a wrestler too, right? I'm I'm not sure, but he's a YouTube sensation and all that. Oh no, no, you're talking about Askren for ben sure. Askren? No, no, uh, the other dude, Paul, or whatever Paul? his name, Jake is. Paul? Jack Paul, Jake Paul. Yeah, from I think I think from what I heard, I think he was a wrestler too back in the day. Okay, but again, the the that dude, Jake Paul, or Jack Paul, or whatever, <clears throat> he's going based off his. His Instagram following, Doug. Like, yeah, he, he's a big YouTube sensation. He has, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of following on, on on Instagram and on Twitter. So when he starts promoting these things, like, yeah, they're gonna make money, Doug. And that's yeah. why these dudes are getting the big checks because they're bringing the, the the eyes and the and the ears and the promotion and all that stuff. So to me, do I do I see it if it's good for boxing? I don't see that it's good for boxing because I think they're kind of taking making it like a like a mockery, like they're not respecting the the game even though he might be taking it serious and i've heard uh like on 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 another podcast some dude like a big boxer um kind of like putting a stamp on him that he he got hands dog yeah uh, yeah Jake yeah Paul. what's that dude's name he, he was under so, uh Floyd mayweather's camp i don't know like i i you know i i, I see it as like zab judah Zab Judah, yeah, yeah, he was, he was, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so he, he, I heard, I heard Zab Judah giving, giving dude pops, and I, I won't take nothing from him, dog. I'm pretty sure that he's working hard, but like, these dudes are just coming in. I was just talking to my homie about it. <clears throat> you, you see these, these young, these young and up and coming uh, boxers, dog, coming from, from, from nothing, and this is their life, and they're yeah. not even making a mill, and then you got these guys just coming in like a year or two and making millions, dog. Yeah, dog. But again. Nowadays, it's not about how good you are. It's about about your name, how many followings you got, how many uh, Twitter, whatever, whatever the case may be, all that following stuff. And that's what it's about now, because it brings the eyes and ears and the and the money. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I remember when we talked about it growing <clears> up. <throat> um, when we used to watch the Chavez fights or whatever, uh, Butterbean used to fight in the undercard. That shit was exciting, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, those, those were good, just out. knocking dudes out. Yeah, hell yeah. So we there's a little history, and I don't know if Muhammad Ali did one with a wrestler or some shit. So, yeah, so there's, there's people like uh, exhibitions, and there is a history in exhibitions. Uh, if you ask me, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a boxing purist. I love the boxing. And, yeah, I, you know, these legends are fighting, like you said, but when it comes to these YouTubers and all that, it's just like, oh, man, I am going to watch it, though. I mean... I watched the Jake it's Paul different, and dog, yeah. dog and you know we 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 can't we can't put we can't put the Jake Paul and the Ben Askren into that exhibition with the with the real with, with these real boxers dog these legend boxers so that okay. that's a total separate uh thing that you know what I mean and, and and talking about that that's a good point dog um talking about these legends you know how Ice Cube did that 3 on 3 what is it called 3 ball no what is it called uh yeah 3, three on ball? 3 I think it's called it's that three on yeah, three ice like cube came up with. Yeah, these legends right. can't play in the NBA. They can't play 50 something, 70 something games plus the playoffs, or whatever. So guess what? He right. made a, a league. It's a three on three. They didn't play last year because Corona and all that. So uh, hopefully they right. play this. And then Kobe was gonna play. That was a rumor. Three on three. You still see your legends that they're not old, but they're still yeah. good enough to ball. And then some old legends, and then you're you're excited because you still seen them. So that's how I see how Tyson and and, and exactly. Chavez. It's uh, uh, Tyson has a. It's called Legends Only, his league and all that. So it's a beautiful thing. Uh -huh. But yeah, and but now these YouTubers are are jumping aboard, and it's just like, oh shit! Now YouTube, oh, oh shit! So it's they're merging together, and um, what I don't know, but man. I just what what I don't want to sound. I don't want to sound like a hater, dog, because these fools are making their money, and that's dope. Yeah, that they're making their money. You know what I mean? Because I mean. If you're getting all kinds of checks, which whatever way, I mean that's dope. I'm not yeah. hating on that. I just I feel sometimes that a lot of these uh, 
YouTubers don't take it serious, even though they say that they, they take it serious and through all these interviews and be like, I could see my son doing this and blah, blah, blah. And yada, yada, yeah. yada. Like, I don't know, dog. you, you, you got to show me more proof. You just can't do uh, a fight with another YouTuber, a fight with um, an NBA basketball player. You know what I mean? Like, nah, dog. you, you, you got to show me some more. And again, he's, uh, he's probably taking his time to get into, into the ring with some real boxers, dog. Because I mean, we talked about it last time another like a canelo or whatever they they do a uh like kind of like an exhibition or um no nah, not an exhibition but um like a catch weight right yeah to come into when when he goes up to weight he he, he kind of does like a little catch weight to kind of get the feel for it yeah. so he might be doing the same thing too so i mean who knows i don't know yeah but this is the thing i i, I tell you we you know about that but like we talk to our friends and all that you could play basketball, you could play kickball, you could play big. You don't play boxing, dog. And this, we have friends, I don't want to mention a name, I'm, no disrespect, but we have right. friends that we grew up with, and they're in the fight game. But he started fighting after right. high school. He's He has the body, he's freaking, he 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 uh, he, he has the, everything. But the thing is that there's right. a difference between fighting in high, when you, there's anomalies, of course, but fighting at 18, then then boxers fighting at age of the age of six. The La Hoya started at six. Cotto, all the right. five, they were five years old. But there's anomalies. Uh, the heavyweight, um, right. uh, Wilder, he started at 18. Wilder, yeah, but, right. he, had a, but he got exposed because uh, uh, Tyson Fury boxed him, and he freaking and he set up traps, and then he took him to deep waters right. and his ass, and uh, he and he got he could have got killed. Though. Lucky his trainer stopped it, but he said that his trainer. His trainer uh, messed up. Yeah. Not nah, he could have died, dog. You don't play boxing, and Ben Askren, like you're saying, he's exactly. getting, he's testing exactly. himself. And he's gonna get, but he, he might get hurt one day. That's what the 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 insider saying. All right, it's cool, but one day somebody's gonna get hurt now, and then what? So like like uh, what's your name? The NBA player got yeah. knocked out cold. Yeah, exactly, dude. He could have died, dog. Not to be like a little scary. Nate, Nate Robinson. Yeah, Nate Robinson. Exactly. But like you told me, and now, now you know what yeah, your yeah. perspective. I, I, I get a little bit better. Yeah, you know what? Let these legends make some money. Let these legends show that they still got it. Like, like Ice Cube did the the three on three, uh, uh, NBA whatever former NBA. Right. So yeah, you know what? I, I agree yeah. with that. I, mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. So yeah. So what do you think yeah. about De La Hoya's comeback, dude? The Golden Boy. He was like the face of boxing, the highest pay per view. Him and Floyd, Whoopty Wompty. What do you think? The Golden Boy, dog. I mean, come on. I mean, <clears throat> it's dope. Um, I I mean, have they said that he's gonna who's gonna fight for sure? There's names, but they haven't announced it. But he's coming June June third, and Conor McGregor, Pacquiao. Uh, I mean, well, pa Pacquiao's about to Pacquiao's about to fight. I think was uh, Garcia, right? They said Garcia. Mikey Garcia. They said the other Garcia, the little kid, and then they say Crawford. And I just saw an interview with. Uh, Timothy Bradley said, I know the inside. I know I'm good. I'm in the inside because he's a broadcaster. No fight. Yeah. I, so I'm just like, dude, I don't know what's going on, dude. Yeah. So I, from what I heard that Pacquiao was going to fight Mikey Garcia, that they had that contract already set up or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, dog. You know, I mean, but um, I don't know. I, I think I think for for De La Hoya to come back, it's dope because, again, it's another legend, dog. The golden boy. And dog. he's been working. I mean, you can you can tell, right? Yeah. Now, who, who he's going to fight, that's a different story because now if he's going to fight McGregor, I don't want to see a McGregor. Honestly, I don't want to see a McGregor De La Hoya, dog. Like, we already know who's going to win that one. McGregor? Is that what you're trying to say? Nah, come <laughs> on, bro. Hell no, dog. Again, and I, I, don't, I don't take nothing away from McGregor because McGregor's a beast, dog. But yeah. boxing, that's not, that's not his stilo. The UFC is his stilo. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. You know, in the UFC, he has so many weapons, dog. In the boxing, like, again, like how we were saying earlier, you don't play boxing, dog. You learn from a young age, from six and up, uh, yeah. seven. Yeah. At, at, you know, you, you don't start learning. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's boxed, but he's not. He, he has. He didn't take that. Um, He's a mixed martial artist. Yeah. You feel me? So it wasn't just boxing. He had to learn. He had to learn all, all kind of jujitsu, Muay Thai boxing you know I mean? wrestling so he had to learn all these other things dog and i don't take anything away from him but i mean we kind of already know who's gonna win yeah you know De La Hoya, like, he's, he's been he's been working now he's in the gym dog he still has the head movement i mean we saw i think what was it like the speed bag or something like that like yeah. he still got the speed dog so now nah, I, I, honestly i don't want to see that fight the, to me that's that's old and done with 
I want to see McGregor just focus on the UFC, dog, and come <laughs> back and just be the notorious one that he that he once was. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, and um, but like like you said, man, my, uh, he has eyes on him. He has the YouTube, Instagram, he everything. Yeah. So if he if he has a yeah. boxing match with De La Hoya, dude, you know how much money they'll make. So, oh yeah. So it's just like man, I get it. I get because is... he's he's t- he's trying to get the he's trying to get that money, and I man, get it, dog. At the end, it's the bag, dog. But and then I mean, at the same time, I mean, yeah, you're making that money, but your legacy is just kind of going to craps. Yeah. And like, you know how, what, how much are you willing? Are you willing to take? You know, hey, but, and you know, you know, like you have me. Another comment you said it had me thinking right now. It just hit me. Why are these 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 uh, exhibitions so so uh, intriguing? Why why? And you said it, and you know what? It is true. Yeah, because we're not getting the boxing matches that we want, dog. We we didn't get. We're not getting the the yeah. Canelo versus Benavides. Canelo versus make the damn fight, or we're not getting Terence Crawford versus uh. uh the kid from Texas, what's his name? They got in a car accident. Um, uh, shit. Spence? Spence. We're not getting that. We're not getting Ryan yeah. Garcia versus this. We're not getting the the. So it's just yeah. it's not this. It's not. It's been going on for years. It's just like for a long come time. Come on, dog. Give me what I want. And and now people are saying, all right, you know what? I'm gonna take my money and we're gonna go here. And and it's giving. It's gonna give. It, it's gonna take money from these guys to other boxes, which we we still respect. Like, but still. Boxing not giving us because of the promotional companies, the TV, the court. It's just right, like right. too many contradictions, and we're not on the same page. Too many belts. It's just like, and and, and like you said, Mike Tyson versus Holy versus uh, uh Roy Jones. It, it, it was the number seven uh uh highest pay per view in history, boxing history. And Nick, it's it's it was yeah. an ambition. So, so yeah, man. And that maybe maybe I don't know maybe by taking taking these youngsters shine away. Maybe they're gonna go out and box these dudes, dog. Because right now, what a lot, what a lot of these guys, and <clears throat> and it has a lot to do with Mayweather, dog. Yeah. Is the is the record? Yep. You know. Yep. You want they want to be uh twenty two and zero. They want to be thirty and zero. Get to that fifty and zero, and that that makes them great. But I mean, yeah, Mayweather is one of the greats, dog. But by him being fifty and zero, if you want to talk about records, that's not that's not the great, dog. I mean. Chavez was 80, like 87 and 0, dog. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. he got his first loss. So if, if we're talking about records and, and GOAT-wise and stuff like that, I mean, you got to give it to Chavez, dog, because Chavez was like 86, 87 and, and 0 before he got, you know what I mean? Like 87 yeah. and 0, dog, that, that, that's crazy to think. And then now you have, May- I mean, Mayweather, he did he did it the right way, dog. He just did a lot of trash talking. Oh yeah, and he, and, and he knew it. He said it. You know, people are gonna pay to see me win, and people are gonna pay, say, pay me to see uh, pay to see me lose. Yeah. So he knew, and he and he knew that his biggest fans and his biggest haters were the Mexicans and the Latinos because he would always do it on on Cinco de Mayo, September right Cinco around de that, Mayo? that that week. And he used to wear Mexico colors, Mexican yeah, yeah. hat. He knew exactly. how to market himself. So he, he knew he, he he knew his gimmick, dog. So he knew his gimmick, but. To uh, for a lot of these youngsters to be like, you know, th- that they're fighting for the for the record, nah, bro. It, it, that doesn't make you a great a great person. Like that doesn't make you a great boxer if you're a twenty and old, dog. Makes you a great a great boxer if you're fighting all the greats and you're and you're winning and you're knocking these dudes out. Even if you're not knocking them out, you win by decision. Yeah. But it has to be by like a landslide type. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Yeah, dog. Um it's it's we're not getting the fights that we want and they're protecting their record and these promotional companies and these tv stations there's so many bells it's just all that is killing the game dude it's killing the sport That's ufc is. is fucking is dominant it, it's ufc has some great fights and they're gonna have great fights oh, yeah. and um and boxing's having they're, they're, they're 2020 is looking good but we need to fucking need to get those barriers out and let's start getting these fights that we want though no? because these exhibitions are gonna freaking take Take the, the money. They're gonna take over. Yeah, they're gonna take the money. They're gonna and, take over, dog. And maybe it, that's what it's gonna take for them to be. You know what? Do we gotta make something happen? Because uh, if we don't make something happen, we're gonna lose money. Whoopty wompty. Because yeah, people, families, families buy pay per views, but I don't think a family could afford five pay per views. The UFC fight and this, the exhibition UFC uh, pay per view, and then the the, right. the other like you know we're living in in, in uh, Corona still. So yeah. So it's just like, I don't know, dog. So so yeah. Nah, it, it, right now it's just it's just all weird right now, dog. Yeah, it's all weird. 
you know? Okay. So, yeah, so um, we talked about uh, the exhibitions, Marquez versus uh, Cotto, Oscar De La Hoya is coming back, Chavez Jr. versus Anderson Silva. I don't know you heard about that. Did you hear about that? Uh, what? Well, Anderson Silva and who? Chavez Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Uh, dog, I, I couldn't believe that one. That won't be all right, dog. I, <laughs> I kind of want to see that. Chavez Jr. balls, dog. He does. Oh, that, that's... That... That's a big disappointment right there. He's a fucking burnout, dude. But you know, they, I think they used yeah. to spar at the wild card with Freddie Roach. Because, you know, uh, uh, Spider used to train there. And Chavez okay. Jr. too. So maybe they, okay, they know okay. each other and they'll they'll bring some old memories back. But, man, that guy. Mm, fucking, and go at it? Yeah, they're, they're going to go hope. at it. All right. <laughs> Let me change the channel. And this is a touchy subject. And okay. I want you to give me the spill, the truth. Palabra, you know what I'm saying? So yep. uh, what about sports and politics? You're, we're, we always seen it, but we're seeing it like it's it's hitting like big time, dude. Uh, yeah. There's some headlines right now. The, the Major League Baseball, they moved the All-Star game from Atlanta because I don't know if it's voting or melon voting that you have to show an ID. Right. And then the, so they're saying that that's racist or people that are, are in, the, in, the, in the margins or people that are poor can't afford it or they don't know how to get an ID. And, and I'm saying, yeah. if, you could, if you need an ID to go to the club or need an ID to go buy a beer, so why can't you get an ID to vote? And, and, and second of all, why is politics and sports like, dude, well, I'm watching sports. I don't want to I don't want to hear no political ideologies, political views when I'm watching sports. What do you what's your take? Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe you, it's you're saying that it is, it is a, a, a problem with the voting IDs or 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 sports. Period. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a that's a lot to wrap around. I mean, in one way, it's good uh, for the for the fact that if you're a minority or whatever, um, that that's how you get your voice heard. Yeah. Right. In sports. Yeah. But at the same time, when you're constantly just pushing it down people's throats, yeah, I mean, people, pe you know, people are gonna get tired of it. So, like I say, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's good and bad. But I think what they're doing right now, they're just, they're just pushing that subject way too much, and anything and everything right now is just offending people. Yeah, and if by that whole voter, um, um, voter ID thing. You're right that you need a you need an ID to to get beer. You need an ID to get into a club. You need an ID to drive a car or whatever. But a lot of these laws, when they're passed, dog, their intentions are not good intentions. So a lot to get an ID. I don't know how is it, how it is in, in in Georgia, right? Yeah. The some people, if you're a felon, you like you may not be able to get an ID. Mm -hmm. So then you can't vote. So it, 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 you know what I'm saying? So it, it kind of goes both ways though. Like, I mean, there, there's laws that have always been passed where you think it's a good law, but at the same time, it's what it does. It, 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 it tends to mess up the, uh, the, the, the lower class people. Yeah. The dudes I, that I, have the more crime, the dudes that have just got out of jail. I mean, look, the, some of these dudes that get out of jail, like you can't, they, sometimes these dudes can't even get a, a job because they have a, they have a, a criminal record. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the so, bad part. Uh, if it's like if, if they did murder or rape, I I their criminal record should be freaking shown. But if they did some like create some something that is, isn't that bad, I think they shouldn't have a criminal record because they already paid their their dues to society. Right. But, but but again, that that's that's just no matter what, when you have a criminal record, a lot of jobs they don't take you, though. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So I, I wouldn't. That you have, we have to. What we have to do is we have to look deep into that law, and see the ins and outs of it. Because we, I mean, we just can't be throwing it like that. Like how people are doing it and just throwing it out. It's racist. It's this. Is that? Like you guys got to know what you're talking about first before you start just throwing anything and everything out there. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because if if you want to protect voter uh voter fraud, like that's one way to go, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you can register to get your ID and then they give you your thing, blah, 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 whatever. So that's, that's, that's one thing. Of, that's one thing you can do. But on the other side, like it's, again, it helps, it doesn't help the lower, the lower, 
poverty people, if they want to vote, if they're trying to vote and they have a misdemeanor or, or a felony on their record for something they did a while back, and they, now they can't get an ID, now they can't, they can't be registered to vote. So, Yeah, and um, the thing is that there's going to be... There's going to be two sides that are, there's going to be people that are pro or, or, or against it, whatever. Right. Right. But the thing mm -hmm. is that we're seeing the effects in sports. People aren't watching the NBA as much people. I don't know if the ratings in the NFL, but for sure, the ratings in the NBA, gone people, down. It, it's gone down, dude. So they say you go woke, you go broke. So you're going to offend one side or the right. other. And I'm, I'm going to give you my position. All right. There's debates and people have to get in. I get it. But sometimes I just want to watch sports and forget about the world. And you're pushing an right. agenda, an agenda at me. An agenda me. There's gonna be a time like, hey, dude, yeah. stop already, dude. Like, stop. I I, I want to watch the fucking uh -huh. the, the, the the basketball game, and that's it. But they're pushing an agenda, an agenda, an agenda. And I'm like, all right. So now I'm like, you know what? I'm pissed. They're pushing an, an agenda. I got nothing wrong with Black Lives Matter. Not the the move, not the movement, but Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude, I, I respect that. But the movement, it's just like, it's a corporate, it's backed by a corporation. And I'm just like, that's a ah. different story. Yeah. It's like, right. when the movement is backed by a corporation, I have to like, whoa, 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 what's going on? They're pushing Black Lives Matter. And then they're also pushing Taco Bell and Coca-Cola when, um, when Latinos and African-Americans, but Black Lives Matter, African-Americans are suffering from the highest rates of, uh, of uh, diabetes and you're pushing freaking junk food and freaking soda. And then black lives matter. It's just like, Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop being hypocrites. And, 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 and like, what's going on, man. And it's a corporation. So either you're in or you're out or th that's why I'm just like, let me watch sports, man. Let me watch the game. But I don't know, man. And, and I'm not. Yeah, no, no, that. definitely. I think again, a, a, a little bit of it. Like if you, if you, <clears throat> If you ask a player, like, after they played the, the basketball game, dog, yeah, you know, maybe, like, a question or two about, about, I don't know, about certain things that are happening in the world and they answer it or whatever, there's a time and a place for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not throughout the whole game where you're hearing the announcers talk about this, talk about that, this political, they may, they may hate this president, they may like this president, that, like, again... You just want to watch a game. You want to hear the stats. You want to hear, oh, great pass, slam dunk, whatever, all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a place and a time for that. And right now what they're doing, they're just constantly just shoving it down everybody's throat. And that's why the ratings are going down. Yep. And Trump was right, dog. I mean, he, he, he was saying it. You know, NFL, NFL ratings are going down because you guys are just constantly just like this. You guys have this narrative like that everybody's racist and everybody's not racist. Yep, yep. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's giving the game a black eye, dude. And it, I'm not even, it's it, just <clears throat> Google the numbers. Google the ratings. Google the, people are walking away, man. People are like, let me watch the game. But yeah, I, I just wanted to put that out. And, and that's what's going on with sports right now. We see in the NFL, baseball's doing a big thing. So there's a lot of people that are walking away. So, and then basketball, a lot of people walked away, so. Yeah, brother. My bad, bro. No, that's cool. Oh, um, yeah. Again, <clears throat> there's always a place and a time for that. Um, and uh, honestly, though, that's why I'm, I, I like the UFC better because they don't right? talk about they don't talk about any of that. Like it's just fight. We're just here to fight. They tell you the stories about this person. They, they tell you the stories about that person. And even boxing, too, that 24-7. Yeah. I love that 24-7, dog. They tell you the ins and outs, the backstories before they fight and all that. I yeah. love that. And, and you could I don't want to hear little... about this whole political. It, to me, I wanna, I'll, I'll tell you something. To me, it was kind of weird when, um, when, when this whole movement started happening and you started seeing all these corporations backing it. Yeah, that's when you that's when you start kind of being like that's when you start questioning because I'm sorry to say, it, dog, but 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 corporations don't just back back uh, uh activists like that. They no. just don't. I never seen that, dude. And their main goal is to so make when, money. Yeah, me either. So it's just like, what the? Exactly. And, and I tell friends that and they still so when they started listen. backing them up and it's cool. Now, now, now they got the money. Now they got the power. But 
you got to look at the back end. Like, why why are they all of a sudden backing up these activists, so called activists, when they they never done that before? Yep. yep. Muhammad Ali, he was fighting for a war. He didn't want to go. Like he was like he would say, like, why am I going to go to 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 Vietnam? They they didn't do anything to me. Yep. Yep. And nobody backed him up. He lost his license to box, dog. So it's just, it's weird. Yeah, dog. So it's just like you, it, one's got to be careful to like what movement and and we're we're backing just because they shove it down on television. That's the oh, this is what we got to do now. Oh, this is what we got to do now. But there's an mm-hmm. agenda behind it, and there's greed, money, and the main thing for corporations, like I said, is money. And it's kind of yep. weird, dude. We're living in a weird ass time, and that's why I'm just like, what the hell's going on, dude? These guys are are, are dictating how how what. Well, how- we got to question everything, dog. Yep. 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 I'm in the middle of everything. Uh, I'm not even got to question everything that 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 we do, dog, or that they do, I should say. Yeah, yeah, dog. But uh, man, um, that this is uh, anything else you want to you want to spill about before we finish this podcast? They that UCLA else? game, dog. Let's oh yeah, let's talk, let's talk about that. These kids, these little 18, 19 year olds, man. Oh man, dog, it was a heartbreaker. One of the most exciting Ballers, games bro. I've seen in a while or maybe in history how about that what'd you think man what do you it think was, it was a it was a i'm not gonna lie dog that shit was a great game what i saw at that game i saw old school basketball old school basketball fundamentals wow yeah that's, that's what i saw dog dudes were yeah dog dudes were using that jab step dudes were using that pump fake they were passing like crazy. The big like, man. Oh, that's sh- sh- nice. Oh, yeah. They were using the big man. They were using screens. Like, and that that game was just a constant close game, dog. Oh constant. God, just may I think what the most that the 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 that they had was like six points, right? Or something like that. Yeah. Like Five, it, it wasn't even that big of a gap, dog. And they were just going at it, just going at it. I think UCLA needed a little better defense. Um because there there were some shots and and the way that they were just going into the hole, dog. That, that like they weren't even contesting sometimes. Yeah, so well, I think I think. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no. Well, the, the thing is that the big man was freaking. He was he's sick. I think he was like six ten, and you see how ladies guy was like the biggest one, like six seven. So they had an advantage oh. there. And then these right. guys, as soon as UCLA scored or they missed the layup, they used to push it, dude. Because oh, I yeah. used to oh, yeah. it. So it's just like yeah. the transition defense was like, oh shit, oh shit. And that's what happened in the buzzer beater. But they right, messed right. up. And, and I'm going to – you know what? I'm going to call it right now. The, the big man went up for a, for a dunk, and he got fouled. Oh, they didn't call that foul at the end. And you know what I mm-hmm. saw? That was racist, bro. That was racist. Oh, <laughs> shit. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was, I was shit. Good, bro. I was, I was good, that was racist right there. No, 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 my bad. No, they didn't, call, they didn't call that foul. So then the right. other guy – Took it in transition, gave a bounce pass to the big man. The big man dunked it, and he hit the ball out of bounds on purpose. That was a delay of game, so three things happened and racism. Nah, forget that. Dog. Right. All right, minus the racism, but yeah. So that kind of killed the that. That was the the key, the play of the game, dog. And the buzzer beater, bro. Fuck. You know. Again, but again, uh, a, a foul like that. I mean, I get it. And especially at, at, at critical moments like that, like maybe they should have been called. But at the same time, how many times are we saying like when we see like a, a small little foul like that, we're like, no, oh, dog, they should just yeah. let the rest of, should just let them play. Yeah. No, yeah, that that was too me? Close. so may, maybe the rest are just like you know what this is this playoff. Go ahead, dog. Do do you think so? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just I'm just I'm just messing around, but. I saw the replay, of course, when you're live. Yeah, it looked you know, like a block, but, but I saw that replay. buzzer beater, dog. Woo. Oh my god, bro. That shit was a killer, son. A killer, dog. Yeah, dog. Because you see the I mean, don't get me wrong, dog. They they needed a little bit of more defense or whatever, but they were balling too. Cause they they were passing the rock too, the way they're supposed to. Oh yeah. They were dunking dog. too. They were blocking shots too. So I mean, you know, again, it was a close game, up and down, up and down, dog. That was a good game. Yeah, dog. Definitely it, a freaking good game. It was a beautiful game back and forth. Kenny Smith said, predicted it in halftime. He said, whoever has the ball in the last second is going to win. And this guy had the ball in the last second, hit a buzzer beater, dog. 
son of a bitch, dog. Fucking heartbroken. That was My, crazy, dog. The Mexican, the Chicano yeah, I mean, kid hit a three, man. Oh, I was so excited, dog. I'm so I was so happy, dog. But we couldn't. He, he was doing pretty good. He was doing yeah. pretty good. He did good. And then what's his name? The the eight, half Asian kid. He's fired, dog. Yeah. Well, I call him Wu Tang, but I forgot his last name, dude. Yeah, he is. He is. He was fired, balling. dog. Kobe type. Yeah, I, I forgot his last name too. I'm not really good with names, so but but yeah, they were they were balling, dog. Again. That that game food that just that reminded me of like the like basketball in the nineties, dog. Oh yeah, dog. You know Honestly. that's a great point, dog. Great point, big you man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, dog. Big it, man passes, nice little jumpers. Dudes weren't taking no like long ass half three court shots. Three. You yeah, know what I mean? Dog. Like, don't get me wrong, dogs. Yes, I mean Curry. Curry can do it. Kobe would do it once in a while, but. Nah, dog, you gotta be like that Jordan and get as close as you can to that to that rim. Yeah, dog. The, the NBA changed. That's the game, why Jordan dude. never took threes. He's like, nah, dog. Why am I, why am I gonna why am I gonna take threes when I can get closer to the rim? Yeah. Nah, dog. The, the the game changed. But that was a great game. Again, dog. Like, shh, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. Like like you said, uh, the, the NBA, the nineties, the eighties, and the, well, we grew up in the nineties, so the nineties and the early two thousands. You give it to the big man. And then, and then you fucking go to the bucket, and then oh, defense! You take a charge. Just, it was just physical. The NBA took out the hand yep. checking. Um, it, it just became more like it watered down. Like it, it came more finesse, more European. Big mans are shooting three, six tens are shooting three. I like what about, Yeah, yeah. Well, what about what about that charge that they, that they called UC, uh, UCLA on? The what? The what? Did you see that one? It was kind of, the charge. The charge. Uh, they yeah, the, the last against UCLA. Yeah, I, I like I at think, the end. Yeah, towards the end. Dog. Yeah, to go know. to overtime. To I go to know, overtime. Yeah. I think I think he should have. He should have just. He was already there to like. He passed the free throw. He should have just pulled up. But he tried to go all the way and he got that charge. I like dog just pull right there. He should have just pulled it right there. Dude. He should have just. He should have just done the the European step, huh? Yeah, a little Euro type shit or a little 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 fucking <laughs> floater, dog. But he tried to go all the way because uh, he's a kid, dog. He's a kid. They're, they're going to make mistakes, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Ginobili, remember, Gino Ginobili would do that shit, dog. Oh, yeah. I love Gino Ginobili, dog. He changed I the think game. he was the one, he was the first one that came out with that, right? With the Euro, probably. He, he, he yeah. yeah, that I remember. It's either him or Parker, I think. Parker was doing Which it. They were both on the same team. They were both on the same team. Um, I really have to think yeah. about it, but Ginobili freaking was the Euro was fire, dog. Oh man, dog. Yeah, dog. He, I think honestly, I think it's one of them two, either Parker or Ginobili that started that. And then I mean, everybody just started taking it from there, dog. Yeah, and then I, I and that's a like dope a ass travel. step. That's a dope ass step. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. It does, but it, it's a dope ass step if you think about it. Yeah, if 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 that young kid from UCLA would have done that Euro step, the, he wouldn't have got got called for that charge. Yeah, he should have shipped it out to the right or something, and we could should have should have got a little shot, a little later. I mean, would have could have should have right. Yeah, just a, that that was a little mistake, but he he's a baller. Just uh, he should have just pulled up or did a little Euro or pulled up, dude. Baller, he, dog. he tried to go all the way and he got hit with that charge, dog. Yeah. Man, that was a, a beautiful game. Dog. I mean, it's all good, dog. They played their heart. They played their hearts out. I mean, there's nothing more that 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 they, they I don't know that they could have really done, dog. Nah, nah, you exactly, exactly. I mean, dog. they kept up with the number one team. They kept up with the number one team, and had them running for their money, dog. So and and, and UCLA and talking, was the number eleven. Uh, they were ranked eleven, dog. Hey, and talking about the one of the best teams, they're number one or number two, whatever. They're right now, supposedly they're playing, they're getting killed right now. They're getting murdered yeah. right now. So, what does that say, dog? That's what I'm saying. I, the UCLA gave them a run for their money, dog. They were they were ranked 11 coming in with the number one, and they probably thought that they were going to have it easy. And nope, UCLA just oh, dog. Was, was, was on them the whole time, dog. Dog, this this UCLA team was NCAA bound uh, uh, to win the championship, dog. Cause they're that good, but just that buzzer beater. They were. Dude, how the they fuck were. did he make that? Yeah. Dog? Fucking prayer, dog. He banked. I it, mean, he, on, yeah. Man. He just he just threw it up. Tim Duncan type. He banked it. <sighs> that shit was fucking. 
It wasn't meant to be, dude. That wasn't meant to be, dude. Yeah. It was that's what H, my homie H, you know, uh H Hustle told me it's not meant to be. Yeah, no matter yeah, what bro. you can do, it wasn't meant to be. And I'm like, you know what? It's true, dog. It wasn't meant to be, dude. Yeah. How do you stop a fucking half court bank shot or almost on the half court bank shot? How the fuck you stop that? It, yeah. was, it wasn't meant to be to for them to go to the uh to the finals or whatever. Yeah, dog. But Don't man. let them get the ball. Well, you see how they scored. What a dick. You see how they scored and then they <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, you see how they scored and then they, when you score, you automatic run. Like you know, you are like, yeah, and then these guys kind of for they slept for like a second or two. And they're like, oh, oh shit, this guy's back. running. This guy's running with the ball because they took out real quick and that food just hit it, dog. Se les dormió el gallo a little bit, dog. So All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. I mean, no, don't don't be happy that you score like you're still in the game, dog. It's a tie game. Yeah, no. Nah. Like 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 you said, they're youngsters, dog. You feel me? Yeah, dog. They're kids. They'll get dog. used to it. The 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 coach right now, I'm pretty sure, is telling them right now, fool. He's telling them right now, look, this is what you guys did wrong, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You can't be celebrating. Like this is one one of the one of the games of your lifetime type shit. Yeah, I hope I hope they're not seniors because I want to see them again, dude. I want to see that that squad again, but we'll see, we'll see, dog. But yeah, dog. Um. Yeah. This we'll is see. the. Yeah. So, uh, anything else, dog? Because I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh shut it down. We're, no, no, we're, we're good. We're good. I just wanted to talk about that UCLA game real quick, but yeah, it was fire, bro. What's your handle, dog? And in case anybody wants to spit game, wants to chop game, you have, I know you do videos. Or they want to have you as a guest in a podcast because they like yep. how you spit. You, you, you spit you, you, where can they find you? What's your handle, dog? Yeah. What's your handle? Uh, on Instagram, you can you can get me on on uh, on Quest. It's K underscore W E S T T. Um, I got a YouTube channel. It's called Cali Cali Fitness. It's Cali underscore Fitness. Um, for all the workout videos and stuff like that. If you guys want to hit me up, yeah, hit, just DM me and I mean we'll get it cracking. Yes, sir. So, yeah, I mean, you want to hit up my boy. He does workout videos. want to stay in shape. He'll, he's got you, dog. Got you walking around with a six pack. And I'm not talking about Corona, dog. Or, and, and and also, if you want to get him on a podcast, Ooh. dog, hit him up, dog. He'll, he'll, he'll spit some game, dog. He's got game. He's got fire for you. So he's got that. And, um, yeah, don't uh, – this is a Michael Maga Jimmy you know, podcast. We, we, talk, we do a little combo. That's it, you know? <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, we got the combo, dog. So for Shizzle, we're out.